Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 2x2 test tent with another unboxing video. Uh, this one is from Vipar Spectra. I've uh, reviewed a few of their XS series and also their P series lights. Um, really good lights uh, for the money usually. This is the uh, new re newly released uh, XS1000, which is going to be the smallest one that they've released so far. So let's uh, take a look at it, see what it can output and uh, see what she's all about. As usual, we've got the, uh, the watt meter, we've got the heat meter, we got the PAR and spectrometer, and then we got the meter meter, and baby Katana's back again, ready to go. So let's go ahead, get the meters out of the way. We will get down to business. This one's sealed up really nicely. There we go. Baby Katana getting us in every time. Really nice thick box. Always packed well. I've never had one of their lights damaged or dented. Their packing is, is definitely impeccable. I mean, check this out. Look at this foam packing here. We've got an owner's manual here. Look at that big bad boy. So we got the 4000, uh, the 2000, was that the 1500 and the 1000, I believe. Let's see, I guess I could read here, 4000. 2,000, 1,500, 1,000. Yeah, there we go. Here's some info on each one. You can pause if you want to read that. How's this fold out here? Alright, caution, safety information, excess series info, just tells how to plug it in, shows it's got a dimmer, how to hang it. specifications page for all their models if you want to check that out go ahead and pause it and let's see their warranty let's see here within 30 days it's uh, replacement money back or repairing it has issue after 30 days Let's see. Wow. That's actually really good. Okay, so it says repairing. Uh, I had to read it twice because that's, that's actually really good. If any light has an issue after 30 days, contact to get a satisfactory solution. We can send the part free of charge immediately if it's a missing part or accessory. So if they're missing a power cable, they'll send that right away, of course. Um, you can also choose to return the light with the prepaid shipping label. We will send the light back to you after fixing it all for free. That's really good. So they've got a three-year warranty. And they pay for everything, unless you're outside the U.S. It says if you're outside the U.S., you get three years warranty, but the back and forth shipping to your country will not be covered. Wow, that's that's actually a much better warranty than a lot of companies are giving right now. So, one up for uh, Vipar Spectra there. Then they've got the usual happy, not happy, depending on if you're on your happy or happy if you know it. Clap your hands. Or if you're not happy, don't clap your hands. It's basically what it says. Wow, this looks like an HPS. This gave me flashbacks of like an HPS bulb. I'm like, wow, they got an HPS bulb in here? Interesting. This is something new that I haven't seen in their boxes before. It's like an accessory kit. Rope ratchets, power cord. Yeah, fancy. Just a accessory box. 
They didn't have that before. That's pretty cool. Standard power cord. Pretty standard hanging kit. Decent quality, not, not super cheap. Rope ratchets. Look at this. Metal geared rope ratchets. Way to go. Way to go. So far, this light's getting just better and better as we go. And then here is the unit itself. Look at that. Vice, Vipar Spectra XS1000. And you can see right down here, Samsung LM301B diodes. LM301Bs. And you can see that coating, that water resistant coating to help protect the diodes. And then you got your Meanwell driver on the back. It's off the, off the board. It's got a nice amount of space there for the airflow. Pretty damn good. I love this design, man. I'm really a big fan of the XS series. This beefy ass heat sink that's on it, this is way thicker than any, almost any, of the heat sinks of any of the, uh, I'd say, mid, mid range LEDs. It's a beefy, beefy light. And it still has to still have the, oh yeah, the smooth dimmer. This is like a, a high-end stereo knob dimmer. It feels really solid. It's not cheap and plastic feeling like the other ones. Really good. It's just a great built light all around. I dig it. So let's go ahead and uh, get her hooked up, see what she can do, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, guys, we are back, and we've got it all hooked up and ready to go. Got it all hooked up here to the uh, watt meter. Got the watt meter cam rolling. Other lights off. And this thing does dim down to zero, which a lot of lights don't do that these days. Kind of cool. Just show you that there, dim to zero. And then when it first kicks on, that's the very first uh, setting that I can get it to kick on. We're looking at what, like 15 watts? 15 watts at the wall. And there again, we've got a 16 inch uh, canopy as usual, but since my meter is five and a half inches tall, I add that five and a half inches on and we're at 21 and a half inches as usual, 21 and a half. And we're about, uh, with the size of this light, we're about eight inches uh, to all sides of the tent. So dead square. Let's take a look and see where this actually ends up here. The very lowest setting. 66 par. There's our spectral makeup. You can see there's a, a red spike there around 680. Quite a bit of blue, decent amount of red. Looks like maybe some uh, infrared as well. I don't see any UV. But yeah, pretty cool. Now let's take this to uh, what do we got on here? 25 percent. Let's go to 25 percent. Get it nice and steady there. One fifty-eight point six. So that's going to be at twenty-five percent. That's going to basically be your cloning and seedling lighting level right there. Twenty-five percent, sixteen inches off the canopy. And that's what we're looking at. Now let's go ahead and bring it up again. Go to fifty percent. There we go, 50 percent. Two seventy-three. So you could 
that's basically like the start of veg like 270 to 300 I would say is about the minimum I would I would recommend vegging with uh, so that's for like smaller plants to uh, just kind of like the teenage plants you could do around the 300 range and be just fine uh, but then when you get up to the, 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 the taller ones bigger plants they tend to stretch quite a bit if you give them that low of a lighting level so let's crank it up a little bit more we'll go to uh, 75 percent there we go Four thirty. So that's definitely a little high, actually, uh, for veg. I would say that's a little bit higher than I'd like to run. Kind of stresses the plants out. Unless you really are on your feeding game, it's definitely going to stress the plants out a little bit. And they're going to start to turn a little bit yellow. Start to eat some leaves. Unless you're on your feeding game, then you're all good. Let's see if we can find a, a veg level here. So I'm going to take it like in between. We'll go right there. In between 50 and 75. And we're going to see if that'll be a good veg level here. Yep. 364. So that's right about where I want to be. Uh, 350 to 400. Perfect. Perfect for me. That's where I like to be. So 16 inches off the canopy, in between 50 and 75% power, you'd be uh, doing pretty good for veg. Let's take a look at the, uh, the side here. Of course, there's not a lot of reflection on this side because of the big black vent. 220 on the side, so yeah, a little bit lower. This is a uh, a little bit larger than a 2x2. Two two. This is a 27 by 27 instead of being a 24 by 24 So it is kind of an oversized 2x2 two two, and this is a really small light. So that's actually fairly respectable to be honest. But uh, you could also lower the light down a little bit and get different ratings and and be just fine as well. So I mean there's so many options with a light this size with a dimmer but you really need a par meter to dial it in properly that's just the I know they're expensive and I know it's hard for everyone to get one but even if you have you don't need necessarily a par meter that's the easy way to do it but even if you there's that like uh, uh, supposed par meter uh, app for your phone you could use that even if it's not accurate even if it's not accurate at all as far as the par rating you could still take a reading look at your plants see if they're healthy and then take another raise it up take another reading and then your plants start looking shitty you know that that upper reading is where you don't want to be so you take it down to the reading below so it's still a reading even though it's not an accurate reading it's still once you've dialed it in yourself you can get your own accurate reading so just want to let everybody know that but par meters are invaluable invaluable uh, for tuning your canopy. It's just absolutely amazing. But let's uh, keep rolling here. Let's just blast this thing open all the way, all the way to the end. Let's see where we end up. Five seventy-eight. That's respectable. You could actually flower with that. 578 anything above uh, 600 is what I recommend for flowering 600 and above 500 will work uh, it definitely won't be as, as fat and chunky but you'll get respectable smokable good quality nugs regardless uh, all the way down to about 450 I'd say um, anything in the 450 to 600 range just it's decent nugs but not the best and then you get above 600, 600, 700, start getting some really nice fat chunky nugs, chunky lowers. You go up to 800, 900, up to 1,000. 
that's where you start really getting into the really fat, chunky uh, uppers, chunky lowers, chunky sides, chunky everything. Um, and then anything above a thousand, you're really gonna want CO2 uh, to benefit from that, or you're just gonna kind of stress out your plants for the most part. But yeah, that's pretty decent. Let's check the side here. Three twenty-nine. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, the back side here if we can. Get all the way, all the way over there. Man, this is tough in the two by two. Oh shit! I bumped the light just a little bit. Four ninety-two over there. <laughs> I did bump the light a tad. It's, it's so tight in this 2x2, two two, for real. Like, yeah, this is <laughs> not ideal. I definitely want to test in a 2x2, two two, but uh, holy shit, is it hard to test in a 2x2. Two two. Let's get over here. Three fifty-eight. Corner's going to be really bad. I already know. 291. So yeah. Pretty decent all around though. So, I mean, it does drop off quite a bit that far away. This is a pretty small light. But this would be an excellent veg light for this tent, honestly. This would be a killer, killer veg light. It's got plenty of blue also. So not bad for the, uh, the veg stage at all. It's not overpowered by red. But it has enough for flour if you did want to use it for flour. So that's what I would say. Uh, either that or lower it down a little bit and, uh, and get a uh, little bit more power that way. But you may lose a little bit on the edges. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to lower it down uh, to about 12 inches. And we're going to see what it does at 12 inches. Because I think the readings are going to be a little bit more favorable with a light this small. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, we are back and we are now at 17 and a half inches total, which is gonna be a 12 inch canopy level uh, minus the height of the meter. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. I think it's gonna be a lot better. Bam! 863 remember I was talking about fat cola territory well there it is there it is ladies and gentlemen and there's the spectral makeup you've got a hundred and sixty eight par of blue 315 of red 20 of uh, far red and then almost one and about half of infrared and UV for a total of 863 dot 639 so 863.6 basically oh touch it's gonna power down awesome 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 let's check the side over here three sixty one so it didn't really go up a lot but it did go up some at the extreme, extreme side over there. Uh, if we turn it in a little bit though, which the plants are gonna, of course, face the light. Check it out, 486. So that's flower range, just, just right there on the cusp. I, I really do think this would flower a two by two. I think it'll veg a two by two, perfectly fine. It'll flower a two by two perfectly fine I think it's a really really nice light uh, I really like the design I like pretty much everything about it really I mean it's got the meanwhile well driver let's take a look at the bottom here it's got the Samsung diodes check that out the light just crushes it man it really does it checks off all the boxes that you really would want except for maybe UV, 
and you can always add UV bars, you can always add red bars, you can do whatever you want. There's all kinds of things you can do. But this is a really nice, nice setup here that Vipar Spectra has put together. And it's got a good warranty. It's got a really good warranty on it. For real. So yeah, I, uh, I like this one. I do. I like the whole XS series, honestly. I really, really dig it. So hell yeah, let's uh, let this thing warm up though, uh, because uh, we got a little bit of a heat test left to do. And it looks like let me retest this real quick. Thought I had seventeen and a half. I had seventeen and a half. It looks crooked. That's weird. Maybe the vent's crooked back there. Maybe the vent's crooked on the tent. I keep looking at this and I'm like, that's crooked back there. But then I measure 17 and a half, 17 and a half. Maybe it's like a, just a slight hair off to one side. That's crazy though. It looks like it's further, but yeah, let's uh, go ahead and let it warm up and we'll, uh, we'll see what kind of heat readings we get. Be right back. All right, guys, we are back and we've given this time to warm up. So let's take a look and see. If there's any hot spots besides the driver of course looks to be fairly even distribution the uh, white number is where I'm aiming the red number is the hottest thing on the screen and the green number is the coolest thing on the screen you can see the drivers pushing about 130 out the edges here about 120 119 112 in the middle there towards the cords 119 again at the edge so yeah pretty average most of these fanless units run around 130 132 for the driver um, the board is actually running pretty cool at 123 that's not bad at all in the 118 to 123 range it's got quite a bit of metal on it so I mean, it's going to do pretty well overall. Yeah, no uh, no issues that I can see. Looks pretty good to me. That's, uh, that's pretty much a wrap on this one. This is a, a really good series, man. This XS series that they've got going here. I really dig it. I will be testing the XS 4000 as well here pretty soon. So I'll, I'll have tested all of them once I do that. I've already tested the 1500, the 2000, now the 1000. So all that's left is the 4000, and I've already got that in my hands. So it's just waiting in line to be tested, and uh, it'll be here. It'll be here. That thing's going to be a beast. So uh, click the link below if you want to take a look at this light. Uh, I think it's a good light. Uh, if you're looking for something in a 2x2, two by, two by two, uh, I think it would be a really good option for a lot of people out there. Decent quality parts. You got the Meanwell driver. You got the Samsung LM301B diodes. It's got a dimmer. It's got everything you would need. It's, uh, it's even got a decent warranty. So yeah, pretty decent, man. Very good light overall. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. And until next time, happy growing.